In this video, we're going to create a new project on Vivaro and we're going to import different types of files onto it. So to start with, we're just going to open Vivaro, which I already have open. We're going to go to the quick start section and going to click on create project. So it was, will bring up the wizard to create a new project. So our project, I'm going to call it majority since this is the name of the circuit that we've been simulating. So I'm just going to keep the name consistent. So this, here we can select the type of project. So in this case, we're going to use an RTL project. Now we can add files. In this case, I already got the design files from the previous videos that we wrote there. So I can just import so all of them. I'm going to import this one. I'm going to take all of them except for the test bench. And we'll, we'll see why in, uh, in a moment. So I'm just going to click OK. Just make sure that the language is the appropriate one right here. So I'm going to click next. Next is going to add the constraint. So this is optional, but I already got a constraint file prepared for this. So I'm going to add it here. I'm just going to import it over there and then going to click next. Now here we can select the default part or our board. In this case, this is the name of the board I'm using and I'm just going to select it here, click next. This is our summary, everything seems to be okay. We got RTL project, three files have been added, so we still need to add the test bench. We have a constraint and we have the proper board for our part. So we're gonna hit finish and let it run its course. Once the project has been created, all the sources and all the files will appear under the sources manager here, under the project manager. So we can, I'm gonna click here so we can expand that and see it better. So here we can see all of our files. This is the entire directory that contains all of our project files. Here we can see the constraint file that we added and here are all of our different entities that are declaring different files in our in our project and these are different files that exist under the design sources so what we he, what we see here as majority is actually the top level unit this is why we see the symbol over here now in this case we already have our design files but we haven't added uh, our test bench so in order to add a new file to our exist existing project just going to click on the plus sign and in this case, we can add it, add a new file, three types of files. So we can add a constraint, a design, or a simulation source. So in this case, a test bench is a simulation source. So we're gonna do that. And then since we already have it, I'm going to add it, although we could create a new one if we wanted to go from scratch. I already have my test bench over here. So I'm just gonna click okay. Then finish that, let it update because it's going to analyze the entire directory, come up with a new hierarchy for the entities, and then uh, we can continue. And there we go. Now we have under the simulation sources, our top entity is our majority test bench, our design sources is our majority. And if we want, in this case, because we already got our project completely set up, we can go ahead and run a simulation. Now, depending on which step of our flow we are, we will be able to access some of these options later. However, for now, we can only run a behavioral simulation. You can see it goes through the analysis and compile, then elaborate step, and then it goes into the simulate steps. These are all individual steps that have to be performed in order to execute the simulation, with the last step being the dumping of all the information into the wave viewer, which is here. So we can use the tools here in the bottom. Let's expand this so you can all see it better. You can use the tools here at the top to control the graph. So you can, a uh, very easy thing to do. You can zoom out and it, this will show you the entire length of your simulation. 
With this, you can snap to the beginning or the end of the simulation. Uh, here you can zoom in and zoom out. Here you can go to cursor because you can click anywhere and then you can go to it in the simulation. So zoom in and here we can see, oh, too much. Here we can see the output of our simulation. So here is their output or majority bit. And our individual bits we can access by clicking on this little symbol here. And then we can see the individual values of every bit in our sequence. And that's it. In this case, we could continue on with the other steps of our workflow, but we will leave that for another video.